Hi everybody. This is Sherry from Sherry Bear Cottage. Look at this pile I have right here. Yeah, we're going to do something with this today. You know, I was sitting in here, you know, getting some things ready for the video today. And um, the, the more I looked, the more scraps I have. I've really got to do something with the scraps. I'm going to have to toss them one or the other because it's actually that is what is taking up my studio space. It's crazy. So we're going to work on this pile and see what we can make just out of these things right here. I do have a few little things over here, you know, that I was going to use for uh, doing maybe some Alice in Wonderland stuff, but... I don't know if we'll get to it, you know, so we're going to work on this little stack right here. So, how is everybody? I hope you're doing well. And um, let me move this up just a tiny bit. I've been trying so hard to get my working spot in the middle. I was always looking at my phone and not looking at where my camera was aligned to. Right now, it's aligned right here, right here. So, I'm hoping this is more in the middle. Well, I guess we should get started and look at what we've got here. I've got a few pieces of this uh, fabric. I ordered this a long time ago from, um, I don't know if it was Timu or something like that. And we can use this, definitely, for our little toppers on our tags. Uh, and um, that's one thing we'll use. Um, I have a couple of uh, pieces of washi tape. I have, uh, these are little birdies, little stickers. I don't know if I use them or not, but I think they're cute. This here is just a little piece of envelope, and I'm going to make a tiny baby tag out of this with a long insert in it. I think that'll be cute. This I always like to have available. These are some uh, ruffles that I made at the sewing machine. And um, if you don't sew, you can do this by hand, too. You just have to do that in and out thing, that in and out thing, and then pull. Yeah, you have to do that. But... I always like to have some of these handy and I make them out of little scraps of material and or the ends or or you know something something that I can cut up and use if I need to I like to have those at hand so I'll just set them aside then we got some pieces of ribbon and here's a dangle I don't think I'll probably use a dangle today and a little doily and some lace and this here oh this is uh, I'll show you that that's uh, something I talked about last week. Now this is a piece of fabric. You know, I could tear this and use a piece of it. I coffee dyed this. Yeah. I uh, use a piece of this for um, a topper or we could use some for a pocket. Yep. Let's move these aside and some more lace. And then just little pieces of paper like this. Here's one that says happy... Uh, I don't know. This is a voy uh, I don't know. Voyage. Yeah. That can be used for a topper. Here's some strips. You know all the strips that you cut off on the bottom? Well, we're going to do something with those today. Let's see. Oh, I'm so excited, you guys. I found my um, scissor sharpener. This is the best sharpener that I have found. It's by Fiskers, and it's just this little thing right here. And it you just cut like that. It works great. If you're able to find it, you know, those electric ones, they don't work for me. They ruin your scissors as far as I'm concerned. And um, this works amazing. That little white piece in there is a stone. So, um, you know... When the stone wears out, and I have worn one out already because I it's my go-to for sharpening. So, just wanted to tell you that little FYI. 
And yeah, I have little pieces of now this I cut out. I uh, did that on a, there should be another one here. I thought there was two. Well, if there is, we'll run across it. Here's another piece of lace. This is a pocket, you know, that I got. I don't know if it was in a freebie or, and it probably was, or uh, something that I bought, a digital I bought. So we got all these little pieces. Yeah, we're going to, now this little ruffle, I've had it on my desk for a long time. I'm going to see if I can use this guy today. This is paper with tissue, white paper with tissue on top of it. And then here's another bunch of tiny scraps. I'm going to make a rule for myself. If it's this small, I'm not going to keep them anymore because I know there's things you can do with it, especially if you've got little stamps. This is a little bird right here, and I want to use him. He's been he's been hanging around my my desk for a while too. So let's uh, work on some of this stuff. Bunch of stuff under here to make tags with. And we got down here. We've got some pretties. We got some more. We've got some turquoise bling and some clear bling. Some numbers. All kinds of stuff down here little music so and some uh, Tim Holtz oh, let me get it now. Tim Holtz to say something I don't know if I can use that or not looks like I've used it pretty good oh here's that other one the other one that I was saying when I had another one yeah this one so we have this one and we have this one let's just do those because I really think that these were a freebie and you need to take um, advantage of all the wonderful people, you know, that uh, go and make digitals and then offer them to you for free. And uh, most of that you can find on Pinterest. And I explained a little bit about that last time. But the thing that you really want to um, make right is that you do not want to ever take advantage of someone and um, if they're selling it and it's not free you must make sure that it says free okay because sometimes you'll pull free up and it'll give you one free one then you go on to the next one and the next one is not free it's a shop on Etsy so you need to check that and make sure you do that part right for me okay all right so well let's just make these little pockets here these are these are like pocket envelopes i i don't know what else you would call them so that's what i call them and let me see if i can grab my little uh, i thought i had it down here okay well i don't see it so i'm going to try to do it with my um with my um <laughs> Brain's not working too good. I must have put it away. I'm going to try to do it with a, a ruler. Oh, a ruler and uh, what do they call those? I don't even know. Well, I'm going to put you on hold. Okay, I found my ruler, and I'm, what do they call these? I don't know, but that's what I'm going to use. And I'm just going to do it on my mat here. I probably should do it on this little mat. I don't want to cut through what I have going on. And we'll see if I can do this. I just want to make a, a line here so it'll be nice and crisp and fold. Can you see me? Okay. Here we go. Just down like that. I'm sure that'll work. Sure enough. Okay. That works great. Now let's do this side. Turn this around. And we'll do this side. So guys, how was your 4th of July, if you celebrated? Um, mine was good. 
I I was really concerned about Mr. Bentley, you know, being disturbed and and scared and everything because of the loud bangs and stuff. But the thing of it is, you know, here where I live, <laughs> you wouldn't know it, but uh, yeah, the um, fireworks are illegal. So you know, you wouldn't think you'd have all these fireworks going off in people's houses you know and, and it's not like they don't offer you know fireworks shows you know around town they certainly do and they're really really nice ones so you know why they why they insist on um, doing illegal I don't know I think I'm going to cut these edges a little bit they're straight and usually they're at an angle a little bit so let's cut these at a little angle just up to there so it'll it'll close nicer just a, just a, a wee bit yeah all right there there we go now we should have a nice smooth bottom and not puckered here and here and here let me give it a give it a whirl. <laughs> I am going to take the little sharp edges off of here. The way this is made, this is one reason why I think it might have been a freebie. Not saying anything bad. I a welcome my freebie, so I'm happy about that. I'm going to see if I can cut all three of these at the same time. Oh dear. <laughs> wow, I think I'm a, this is real strong paper. I think I'm a little bit weak. All right, let me try it again. Whew. Yeah, that was scary. So what have you guys been making? Come on, tell me. Leave me a little, leave me a little comment. I love it when I get comments. Okay, let me know that you're out there and you're enjoying my videos. Or if you have any comments, you know, maybe you're not enjoying them or maybe you think you can help me improve. I'll listen to that. I'm a big girl. Okay. There that way, or do we want to do it this way? I think I'd like it better this way. All right, so now I'm just going to take some glue and I'm going to put a little bead of glue along here. And a little bead of glue along here. And close it. And then we'll do a little bead of glue along here. I've been having a lot of fun doing this. Uh, this little series of tags and pockets. Have you been enjoying it? I sure hope so. I have. This is just tea dye, whatever was left on it. I didn't want much on here. So, isn't that cute? That's the cutest little pocket, you know? And then whatever you have for a tag, we're gonna have something. I'll just use this. And your tag slides right in there. Now, since it's decorated on both sides, I'd probably use this with a, a clip on the side, you know, for a uh, floating pocket, you know. You could put it anywhere. You can put a short one in here or a very long one. Either way. Okay, let's just do the other one. Get it made. Get it. Get it made, made, made. Um... 
where my little ruler went. I have a little tiny five inch rule. It might be in the kitchen because, you know, I, from time to time I do uh, use, I do use my tools in the kitchen. So, if you can bend this on your own and you don't need to, you know, use one of these tools, um, good for you. Um, this is a little um, tight because it's uh, thicker. It's like a cardstock paper that I put it on. I wish I knew who to thank for this uh, cardstock, but I'm sorry I don't. So uh, if you see this, whoever you are, um, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. I didn't do that one very straight, did I? I'll fix it. And we'll also do the little edges here. this side and you, I want to say too that if if you're a new person and if you're new to my channel thank you very much for uh, subscribing I appreciate it so much but um, you can um, change these up you can leave it like this make a template out of it I have templates um, that I use and I'm glad I have them. But if you wanted to, um, you know, make a template of, out of this, it would be so easy. So let's go ahead and cut our thumb holes. <laughs> Can't see in here too good when it's all full. One. I don't know how long this uh, video is going to be today, guys, because, you know, I didn't, this is just, you know, using what's on my table to make tags and pockets, so it's a, it's, it's not a planned out kind of thing that I might know how long it takes, okay? So, I'm going to do that, and this looks very cute. Let's put some glue on her. Bead of glue along here. Bead of glue along here. Like so. Cute. Very cute. And then a bead of glue along the bottom. All right. These remind me of little pockets that you would use for, um, what do I want to say, um, seeds, you know, planting seeds, that kind of thing. I just want to put a little bit of that on. This tea died. I don't want to go all the way around. Okay, I just threw that over here. <laughs> there we go. All right, so there's another one done. So floating pockets, I love them. All right, and those were freebies. I know they were. Okay, now let's see what can we make. We can make. Well, let's do this little pocket while I'm thinking about it. Okay, so the first thing I want to do here is I want to cut this off. Just like that. 
this is just the end of a um, envelope. It's cute. I think it's cute. Okay. And I think I'm going to make the flap bigger. Like that. not very, it can tell it's hand done because it's not very smooth. <laughs> but that's okay because that's what we're doing. We are doing handmade. So we're just going to go along here a little bit and close this up. Don't put too much, uh, you're doing little stuff like this, don't put too much glue you'll lose all your real estate in there because it's going to take a piece you know a small piece we can even put some numbers in here okay so i need to make this a little bit thinner a little bit thinner It's okay, I'm going to fold them in half, like that, and then I will put them in the little pocket. These will go inside the little pocket. Okay, so these will go inside here. I'll wait till the glue dries a little bit more. Okay, now how are we going to decorate this? Well, I think that we can use, you know, some of these little scraps. Look at this one. This one might work. Might show a little bit around, but that's okay. We can like that. We can do it like that. In fact, I think I'm going to glue it right on like that. Have a little spot there that uh, touched some liquid. Let me have a little drink here. Maybe I can push my seat in too while I'm at it. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now this one. What I want to do here is ink it all the way around. Do I want to use, I'm still going to use the tea dyed. It's light and um, I'm feeling light today and not feeling grungy. So I do this. It's been very hot here, guys. You know, we're going to be over it was 110 yesterday we're going to be over 100 degrees um for the next 10 days solid um i wanted to see what it cooled down to last night it only cooled down to 73 so you know we are in a, a serious serious um heat wave and you know there's a lot of people that are elderly that uh, don't have, you know, the means to have a, a good kind of air conditioner. Some of them just have swamp coolers. And I'll tell you what, with this kind of heat and the humidity we're experiencing that we're not used to, it can be deadly. And I hope and pray that those people can find a cooling place in town and have somebody take them there. Okay, um... Oh, here it is, this one. I'm going to put this all the way to the top and then I'll cut it off like that. I know you think I'm crazy, but this is what I'm doing. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I'm gonna put some glue on here. 
all the way to the top. You know, when you use scraps, sometimes you want them to see that you're using scraps and how pretty you can make it, you know? Don't you think? I think so. That's just me, maybe. I'm going to... I didn't cut that off very straight, so I'm going to try to put it on here nicely. Leave a little bit of this showing. I want that showing there. I've got a little bit down here showing all the way to the top. And then we can cut it off. Now, you know what would be pretty here is to put some, um, maybe some lace on it. What do you think? Think we should put some lace on it? And I can't get that corner. I'll try to follow these lines here. I'm not good at this at all. Oh. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> I don't know what I have done. Let me just cut it across here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's make this look better. <laughs> Wonky, talk about wonky. That was beyond wonky. All right. Okay. Now we can put our numbers in here. Because they will fit. We can... Do we want to make this a glue down or do we want to make this a move around? I'm not sure what we want to do. But I think it would look good just to leave it with that black and white on there and put some ink on it. I like that. Maybe put a little ink on the paper too. Yeah, like that. It's kind of cute. So that can be a, a glue down, a little little tag. It's really not a tag. It's just an insert and a cute, cute, cute little pocket. Now let's make some pretties on it. How about we could put a little piece of this on the bottom there. This is just trim. I think this trim was from Gail Agostinelli. Yes. I think it's on her. On her Etsy shop. Just going to put this there. Okay. Like that. That looks very cute, I think. It's all kind of wet, so I've got to be kind of careful. And then, what else should we put on here? Where's that? Should we put a little label? That's a little too big, huh? We would need a much smaller label, and I don't think I put any labels out. How about a little piece of this? That looks kind of cute, don't you think? That's a Tim Holtz thing. <laughs> he makes some of the tiniest things. This one's not even cut right, so I didn't cut that, so... Don't blame me! <laughs> Okay, I've got tweezers. I should be using them. Where did they go? Right here somewhere. I 
see, I see, I see. I see these. Mm, don't want to lose that. Okay. Oh, need to turn this around. And it would work better if my table was cleaned off, but no, I got to make it more difficult. I've got to, um, yeah, work on top of a pile. Okay, there's that. That's cute. Now, do we want to use a word? Where did those words go? Hmm? Here they are. What do we got here? Let's put little. How about if we put little on it? Little. There. Little. Push that down. Little. How about joy? Little. Hmm. Yeah, little. <laughs> I looks like I've used a. Well, here's one. Little one. Um, I uh, these are a little different than you find from um, Tim Holtz. They are Tim Holtz, but I copy dyed them. The whole sheet. Actually, I did the whole book, and um, I, that way I don't have to put anything on them there we go little one cute I think it's a cute one and then we'll leave this pulled out a little bit whoop just a little bit and we can just glue it down very cute I think I'm going to glue that down all right Give it a squeeze. There, then it won't be in the way. I like it. All right. Now, what do we got? Oh, we, these are on cardstock. Well, now these can be used for so many things. Oh, my goodness. Um, let's cut this off. My mind's going a mil million miles an hour, so I don't know where it's going, but it's going. Wonder if I could put anything on here. We could like make this a a, a pocket on the side of your paper. You know, you have your journal, and we can make it a pocket on the side of your journal like this. It'll be a pocket here. So. Let's see what we can put on here. I see this is a little rough in the middle. Let's move that. Let's put one in the middle. I've got these too, though. One on each side. We could put um, maybe some book page. Let's get some book page. Don't you love those numbers? Okay. See how this is all tinted? Yeah, that's all natural. And you know what? I'm going to leave it. And um, I'll cut off of this edge. But I'm going to leave that on there. I'll just cut the end off. It's pretty substantial. This paper here is a, a scrap from a good paper, like a 32 pound paper um, from HP. Good, good paper. It's their premium pro, I think. <laughs> I just spit my coffee on it. 
Oh boy, Sherry. Okay. And I think I'm going to... Nope, I want that to show. Let's do it this way. Okay, am I driving you guys crazy with all this mess I have in front of me? I'm so sorry. Let me move it. Let me move it. I'm driving myself crazy. So it might be driving you crazy. Sometimes when I watch videos, I, I'm like, would you please move that thing and get that out of the way? And oh, I'm just terrible. All right, here we go. Now we've got a little bit of room here. I've got stuff over here I probably shouldn't have, but I do. All right, let's get this on the paper. Now I'm going to glue along here. You guys, I have bagfuls of scraps. And um, I didn't realize I had so much. So the thing of it is, I don't want to have nothing but scraps in here. I've got to you know, I'm trying to organize, and, and I've been doing it for a long time, I know. It takes me a long time. But, you know, I'm doing it a tiny bit at a time. That's all I can do. And um, when I do that, I find more. <laughs> Good grief, huh? I find more. So, i got to let that dry a little bit. Let's smooth it out. What was the other thing I, I wanted to show you? So many things I want to show you. So little time. I will turn this over and glue it down. Try to do that straight as I can. So, you know, unless you just don't want to keep your, your, um, this is not uh, getting very crisp here. It wants to be bad. So unless you just don't want to keep your scraps or you don't want to work with scraps, you know, that's okay too. It's your scraps, right? You can do whatever you want. I know that. A lot of people just throw their scraps away. They don't want to be bothered, and that's okay. But I think it's fun, you know, to come up with some different, unusual things. I'm going to try this. I know it's not dry, but I'm going to try it anyway. There we go. It worked. No problem. Okay, let's use some of this tea dye. Distress Oxide. Now this, this is the natural side here. I don't think I'm going to do too much. Just a little here and there, you know. Because I want, you know, most of that to show. I don't think I'm going to do the top there. I'll do the bottoms and the sides here. Yeah. Like that. And, you know, I didn't glue this down. I better do that, huh? Yeah. Glue that down. Okay, so on this will go... I wish I had just a book page here. I always do this, and it just makes myself so mad. Um, the side of a book page... I'll just hold this in half. This is my inking paper. This will be, of course, your paper will be bigger. And it will be on the side that you turn. So you'll have a pocket there. Now, I've got a bunch of these long, long pieces. These I keep because you can stamp on these and make some wonderful um, edging. You know, 
So let's see what we got here. We've got some flowers. This one's kind of pretty. Let's take this off. Um, here, let's use some blue. I haven't used any blue for a while. As you know, blue is not one of my favorite things, but, you know, I'm not opposed to using blue. I love green and pink. Those are my favorites. We got all kinds of stuff here. All right, so we kind of know what we got there. So I'm going to put this on the edge like that. Now this, of course, is going to be glued down on the page. You're going to glue here, here, and here. So, just so you know. Just cut this. Alright. Let's put a little... It looks like I used this on here before, this color. I don't know. Maybe I did. It's been a long time since I've seen these. And I don't know where they came from. They were the cutoffs on something. Some kind of paper. Okay, we can put it on, or we can make it a belly band. You want to do that? Huh, let's do that. Let's make it uh, a pocket and a double belly band, right? Let's do that. That's kind of fun. I'm making the crease because that's where I'm going to put the glue for the other belly band. Okay. This is the best glue, you guys. You don't need to use much. This is uh, barely our precision craft glue. A little pricey, but it you don't have to worry about it. Okay, now you know what we need. We need some pocket, uh, some tags. I got a bunch of stuff over here. Here's a piece of cardstock and a piece of cardstock. You can use this. It'll be a pocket, and a pocket will be here, like that. Let's do the corners. I have a template. <laughs> yes, I have a template. I do, I do, I do. I have a template somewhere. Mm. Okay. Well, I'm just going to do it like this. Okay. And like that. There we go. So, let's put, no, no, that one. Mm, not that one, it's a little too big. Um, gee, I don't have anything blue, really. I have this. I uh, don't think that'll work. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I've been on here 44 minutes, guys. I'm going to have to wrap it up. I'm so sorry. I try not to keep you too long, you know, so you can have fun, sit back, have some coffee or some tea, some soda, some ice. Oh, if it's hot where you are. Hot chocolate if it's cold where you are. Yep. I gotta cut my corners off too. They're too sharp. When I do them with cardstock like this, the corners are too sharp. It's a lightweight cardstock too. It's not um, 
real heavy, so it, it will cut easier. It'll cut you easier. Easier. Okay. Okay, now I'm not going to put holes in these, but I think I'm going to use... One over here that's like like this this I ran through my Xyron so it's a sticker I'm going to use not very much one and just a couple pieces of it because um, it'll be the tabs and this is a sticker so it's good now this one looks like it has um, uh, the other ink on it but that's okay I try to get it in the middle I should do it from the back side. When I turn it over, it always looks worse. <laughs> okay. And there. Now, this can always be decorated much more, of course. You know, um, I'm just, you know, giving you ideas, basically. And the idea here is to get a pocket, a belly band, and two tags. What do you think of that? Which can be written on, by the way. We put a little ink on this side. Just a bit. Just a tad. Just a little. We got our belly band. We got a tag. And we have another tag. And this will fit on your page. On your journaling page. Like that. It's not this long, but you know. And that'll be like that on your page. Nice, huh? I love it. I love how that turned out. Of course, you can decorate this with lace and paper. You know, uh, fabric, whatever you want to do there. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do it because we're not going to have time. So today, we didn't get very far, did we? We just kind of got through our pile. But we're going to, you know, be working on more things. You know, I could put a little pocket on these with some fabric. You know, if I wanted to. But I'm not going to. I just don't have the time today. I'm so sorry. Um, a little piece of this on there. No. Okay. You could put Tim Holtz figure on there. That would look cute. Yeah. That would look cute. Oh, here's this butterfly. This is always my go-to. When I don't have anything else, I can use Shabby Dabby Doodah's butterfly kit. Yeah. We can put this on like this and make a little pocket there. Let's do that. And then we'll wrap it up. Okay? All right. Yep, we'll make it a little pocket here. Right here. Like that. And we'll get a little... Get a little piece here and make it a tag. And we will put the little tag in here. There we go. Let's just do this. 
This is cardstock also. Of course, you can decorate this any old way you want. Cute, huh? I like it. All right, guys, so we did a couple of little tags. We did a little pocket that was just made out of the edge. Oh, this is about an inch. The edge of, let me, I don't have my, oh, here. Yeah, it's a, it's a, about it, just barely, like an inch and an eighth wide. And then we put, you know, some surprise numbers in there. And that's going to be glued down to the, to the page. And this one here and this pocket here we used from a freebie. I put it on lightweight cardstock, white. And um, then you can put your pockets inside here. I think these will fit. Yeah, look at that. Those are a good size, too. But you can put this size. You can put size that comes way out there. It's up to you. We have those. And then we have our uh, belly band side page pocket. And um, these pockets can go in the belly band. Or you can use something else. Heck, yes. One there. Where'd the other one go? Hmm. Did you see it fly away? Oh, it stuck to the other one. <laughs> there you go, like that. And like this. And I showed you how it looked on a page. All right, guys. Well, that's all we have for today. I hope you enjoyed that. And remember, check out those freebies, okay? You can't go wrong. And even a little scrap like this is awfully cute, you know, when you have a little surprise in it and you have it in your journal. All right, so I want to say thank you for watching. And remember, give me a thumbs up if you don't mind and subscribe if you haven't already. I want to say um, I'll see you on the next video and take care.